Is it possible to learn the split in 30 days? I can't even remember the last time I stretched before this challenge. I hated it, it was painful, boring and a complete waste of time. But one day I woke up and I was committed. I started researching, tried to find a way to make this as painless and as easy as possible. But all I found was this. There was no shortcut and I knew I just had to be dedicated, patient and consistent. So I found these stretches that were best for the front split. The lunge stretch, hamstring stretch, half split and the pigeon pose. The main muscles involved are the hip flexor and the hamstrings. I began each stretching routine with leg swings to warm up my muscles. This was me at the beginning. As you can see, I wasn't flexible at all. I had a lot of room for improvement. Each stretching session lasted 15 minutes a day. I switched to stretching position every minute and I always stretched both sides. Soon, I realized I was getting closer to my goal, but after about two weeks, I started to get unmotivated. The days went by and I didn't feel like I was making any progress. I didn't want to stretch 90% of the time, but I didn't give up because I knew I wanted to complete this challenge. So with new dedication, I turned back to the internet, watched countless YouTube videos and found something called PNF. And it stands for Pro... Proprio proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. PNF is active stretching against the resistance. That means to actively push the stretch down to the floor while exhaling and holding it for 15 to 20 seconds. That was not the only thing that I changed. I also realized that to be able to do the front split, I have to remain in the actual split position. Before, I did the split at the end of my stretching routine once on each side. Then I changed to twice on each side. I increased my 15 minutes routine to almost 20 minutes. Day after day I stretched, no matter how busy my day was, no matter how tired I was. How was I able to push through even though I didn't feel like stretching most of the time? It all came down to the right mindset. And planning. I knew when I stretched I'd feel accomplished and ready to tackle the rest of my day. And I knew if I didn't stretch, I'd feel disappointed and fall into a spiral of finding excuses. So I tried not to find excuses by stretching in the morning or on my lunch break. There were days where I procrastinated and I had to stretch at 11 p.m. at night and that sucked. Don't do it. So I started to write it down on my to-do list with the exact time so I won't end up stretching late at night again. After the 30 days, here's what I learned. Be patient, consistent and don't give up. And was it possible to learn a split in only 30 days? No, at least not for me. I failed. After the 30 days, I was still not able to do the split, but I was closer to my goal. As you can see, I was almost there. For some, this may even count as a split. It was really uncomfortable to remain in the split position and there were still one or two inches left. I thought I was a failure because I didn't succeed at the challenge, but I realized I wasn't a failure because even though I wasn't able to do the split, I was way closer than I was 30 days ago. I was closer than everyone else that didn't put in the work I did. If you want to copy my exact stretching routine, subscribe to my channel and click the bell right next to it so you won't miss it when I post it.